All right, my friends, I truly think I have the best job in the world. Traveling all over to fish, probably fishing five, six days a week now. Living my dream 100%. That being said, y'all only see the really good stuff. Some of the painful traveling experiences I've been through, I can't even begin to tell y'all. But one of them was today, just incredibly difficult to get out of the airport. Had to take a shuttle to another shuttle to sit in line for an hour and a half to get a rental car. And then that whole process just went south. But I'm in the rental car now. I got about a three hour drive going to Lake Havasu. Last year I made a bunch of videos catching these two and three pound sunfish and the goal is to catch more of those and hopefully some bigger ones. Gonna give it my all fishing this insanely clear water trying to find some monster sunfish. It's been a terrible day so far. I'm gonna get through this drive and just try and catch some fish today. Going with my buddy Zach and my buddy Jake. Zach lives on the lake and has a lot of local knowledge so we're gonna try and figure it out and we're gonna try and find hopefully some of the biggest sunfish the interwebs have ever seen. Thank you guys for watching. You know I appreciate it. I haven't seen a three yet this year. We didn't get one quite this year. So. Yeah, we close yesterday. That bull was a beast. That was a bull? Oh, yeah, I like think had one. Yeah, it was two nine. <sighs> like two point nine. So almost three. Yeah, not almost not three. two. Not ounces. Yeah, I found your tree, bro. <laughs> I told you about it. You did tell me about it. But when you tell us about a tree, are you saying there's a tree there cast to it, or are you saying there's a tree there don't cast to it? Yeah, both. It's a warning, and uh, <laughs> there might be a fish there, but you also might just lose your stuff. And that. <laughs> but we also didn't fish it for very long. It's amazing how disappointing it is to catch bass in this lake. <laughs> Isn't it? That's kind of how I feel about bass fishing in general. Right. Yeah, pretty much anywhere, yeah. When you catch bass, it's disappointing. Well, unless. Let's, let's unless, it's, unless it's an absolute giant, of course. It's really big or it's a small. The are... No, I cannot keep these daggum split shots on. Are you using the same ones we're using? I was, and I fling that one off. So I've been sitting there with my worm at my rod tip for the past five minutes. Fish on. See it? Just stuck in between this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Act on this thing. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank you. Uh, is it a bull? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bull bone right here. Uh, a male?
big one. I think it is, but I don't know. Felt that little tiny stumpy stump. Oh no, it came off a of twig or something. Deep, deep water. Not the best release, but you can see her swimming away. All right, my friends, thank you for watching this one. You know I appreciate it. Just got back from Arizona, edited that video, and posted it for y'all. Like you guys know, I always start with a small fish and end with the giants. So those were the small ones. We have some absolute monsters coming. Just insane to fight a panfish and have a fight last for like two, two and a half minutes, which is crazy. But I'm heading back to Nebraska in a few days to fish with uh, my dad. Hopefully get some awesome videos pond fishing with my dad. We're going to go to South Dakota, try and find some smallmouth and some northern pike and some walleye. Might even fish with Josh while I'm up there. Thank you guys for watching this one. You know I appreciate it. We have tons of crazy stuff coming, so stay tuned.